Hey, welcome to episode 204 of Credit 101. In this episode, we're going to talk about what you guys should do if your identity is stolen. So there is quite a few things that you guys need to do, but trust me, it's, it's something that could be simple. It's really about just getting it done. I realize everything like that in life now. We have all the information we need. Like We just need to get stuff done. So first off, just, just stay calm. <laughs> this is something I always tell myself, like, just calm down. I had a fraudulent charge the other day on one of my credit cards and I was just like, okay, listen, this we're going to do because you're driving right now and you know, you didn't just make this charge. So what we're going to do is we just going to freeze the credit card and then we're going to deal with it when you stop driving. So just make sure you calm down and see exactly what's going on. Like get all the information before you freak out. Like did somebody do something because it was an overcharge honestly so like was this a charge where you know are they just running up all your credit all your cards in uber is this an isolated charge for an uber like know exactly what's happening is it multiple charges you know just assess to see exactly what's going on like just collect all the relevant like emails, notifications, everything that you have to do. And next, you want to make sure you place a fraud alert on your credit reports. We talked about that already. Um, placing a fraud alert and call Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and you can place a fraud alert that way. And this is an initial fraud alert. It's going to last a year. Um, and it can be renewed, but you definitely want to do that. This is going to notify your creditors and let them know that you have... Um, some identity that going on or possibility. Now, I tell you guys all the time, make sure you have your credit reports frozen. That's just a must. Why have it open if you're not applying for anything? Make sure your credit reports are frozen. That way, no one could just apply for credit cards without you even knowing or any type of accounts like that. No one can get your credit report. But you, because you guys can obtain and view your credit report. So you can request a free copy of your credit reports from annualcreditreport.com. Um, and you can also call all three bureaus and tell them that you want to copy your credit reports because you believe because you believe or you know you have fraudulent uh, things in your credit reports. Next, you want to actually report the identity theft to the FTC. So you want to actually file an identity theft report. You're going to receive a recovery plan. It's basically a step-by-step -step plan and guidance on what to do next. And you guys are going to get identity theft affidavit. So make sure you guys print this and keep this for your records. And also, you guys can file a police report. Um, usually, if you guys do the FTC report, that may get you to where you need to go. But maybe you need to file that police report. So contact your local law enforcement, obtain a copy of that um, police report, and then you can actually give the police the FTC identity theft affidavit. So you can actually give that to them as proof of your identity and, and evidence that you are actually an identity theft happen. So notify the affected, co affected companies, whoever you see that you did have um, these fraudulent charges with, make sure you contact them. And when you contact them, make sure you guys, I will say, I suggest writing a certified letter Letter and including a copy of the FTC report and the Polish report. And when you guys do that, usually fraudulent charges, I believe they need to have them off uh, within five days of receiving that no notice and they need to stop collecting on whatever account that is. And I told you guys, consider freezing your credit reports. I have to keep saying that because it's necessary. Don't have it open. Like for what are you doing? Unless you can apply for something, you should not have, have your credit reports um, unfrozen. And Uh -oh. any passwords or make sure you guys have certain security measures um, done. So if you guys have Identity IQ, then Identity IQ can tell you about things that's going on with your credit reports. And if you guys have Aura, Aura can also give you these notifications. And sometimes too, like I said, my iPhone will tell me, hey, you have some passwords that need to be changed. It looks like it's been compromised. Make sure you guys do it. OK, and then monitor your accounts regularly. All of your accounts. I like to look at my bank uh, bank accounts like daily. I like to look at my credit reports daily. I, mean, I, like, I need to know exactly what's going on, basically, because if something's going on, I want to know right away. I don't want to wait until I actually need to use it and then I'm losing my mind. And then make sure you correct your credit reports. So you want to send a copy of your FTC report and your police report with a copy of a, a letter to the credit bureaus to tell them to remove this information and block this information, too. And again, 
don't quote me too hard, but look into the five days. I believe they have five, have five days to actually do this. And you guys may have like specific identity theft. It may not be just with your credit reports. You guys may have tax identity theft. And if you do, you need to make sure you contact the IRS. If you guys have medical identity theft, then you need to make sure you contact the providers who have these unauthorized charger, charges and then crim, criminal too. Maybe someone did some bad stuff and you not have a record because they use your name. So just make sure you educate yourself and make sure that you're preventing these things for the future. Let's go ahead and check out the website. Now, for those people that's first, this is your first time watching my videos, I definitely want to show you all my website. So my website, on my website, I have a lot of stuff that's catering to those people that need to build their credit, who don't have credit at all, or if you need to repair your credit, or if you're just looking to you know, maybe just get higher limits. You don't necessarily need to build it. You just want higher limit credit cards or whatever it is when it comes down to credit cards and like the negative accounts to your credit. That is what I care to on my website. Now you guys can schedule a call on my website. You can see if I have any upcoming events that I'm doing. You can do a home buying application if you would like me to help you um, purchase a home and also home tours. Check out some of the home tours that I did. If you guys have any negative accounts on your credit report, such as charge offs, collections, bankruptcies, I do have a dispute letter that you can use here. It's free. I do have a dispute letter that you all can download so that you guys can work to remove those negative accounts from your credit report. Now, you have to get this letter and send it to all three credit bureaus or send it to whatever credit bureau is reporting that account. So definitely come to my website. Once you fill out this, um, you guys will get an email. And then also I'll send you something about how you can increase your credit score 60 points in 60 days. So definitely check that out. If you have negative accounts and you want to actually target them, such as you got late payments, student loans, collections, charge off bankruptcies, then I have dispute letter packages these letters have six letters in it and the bankruptcy is the only one that have the four but this is the letters these are the letters that you guys can use to start removing those negative accounts from your credit reports and it's only 27 dollars for a package of six letters in a little bit though i'll show you how you can possibly get this at a discounted rate also, utilization um, sheets. I always show people how to balance out their credit cards, and I have a utilization sheet here where you can track all your credit cards. You can know what your utilization is, and this can actually help you pay down your credit cards. If you guys have balances on your credit cards, you need to know how to actually pay it down, which ones to pay down first. This sheet would be great for you all. If you guys are looking to possibly get more hands-on help, you like to talk to me, you want more access to me, then I do suggest that you guys get my membership. I make sure I take calls for those people that's in my membership as a priority. Um, I do have one where you start with a dollar trial, and that is going to be $79 per month. And then also have one for $99, and then it's going to be $29 per month. Or you can get lifetime access for fifty. I mean, $599. So definitely if you want to get more hands on help and then also I can email you your letters that you can actually mail and then I also can mail them for free on my end. Definitely join the membership if you want more hands on help. Now these this right here is like my favorite part is the credit cards. I have multiple lists of credit cards here so if you're looking for just the top credit cards that i like i have that list here if you want to pre-qualify for a credit card without a hard inquiry i have this here so you guys can pre-qualify for a credit card without a hard inquiry and this would have over 45 accounts since this is my favorite favorite list because i love to pre-qualify for things without the hard inquiry i want to show you a little bit of what it looks like so you'll see a video of whatever card it is an image of that card apply now so you can go ahead and apply on a website and also have a free downloadable guide and i have information about the card and it's going to repeat for multiple cards so you can see which ones you definitely like which ones are going to help you in your journey of building your credit or even whatever credit you want to get now i have multiple lists bad credit students travel to build credit gas rewards, cash back. I have multiple ones there. I also have the five ways to increase your credit score 60 points in 60 days. The webinar, you can just click directly on here and you will be able to, again, if you already did those free disputes, because this is the thing I said, the 60 points in 60 days, the webinar that you can watch, 
Um, if you already did that, once you put your information in here, you should go all the way back to the actual webinar. Now, a lot of people love this part, six months of free letters. I can actually do your letters for you, six months worth of them, and I can actually email them to you and fill out all your information. All you have to do is literally put them in the envelope and mail them. So I definitely have that for you. If you want the six months of free letters, this is, this is something that you have to do if you want me to create the letters for you. First off, you have to get our mega dispute letter package. All that is, is, is all of the letters that's here. Like all these packages, you get bankruptcy, charge off collections, do loans and late payments. You get all of these together in one. You're going to get the free letter that's here. Plus, you're going to get additional letters, all of that. And I believe... Um, the original price is one ninety nine, but you're getting sixty five percent off of that. I think it comes to like sixty seven, sixty nine dollars. So definitely, you have to purchase the Mega Dispute Letter Package. Do a fourteen day trial with Aura, so we can see if you guys have any type of fraud on your account. You need to be able to know if you had any type of data breaches. So definitely sign up for Aura. And all the links are here, so you can just click right here or click here. It doesn't matter. Um, but definitely do step two. And then step three is get your all three credit reports by identity IQ. And it's a dollar trial for seven days. And that's going to give us your credit report so that we can create the actual dispute letters for you. And then also the last, well, not, well second to last step is to actually complete the application. And that's what's going to give us the personal information I need to put on your letters. Um, so definitely complete the application. And then once you have made your purchase, reach out to us so that we can see if you're eligible for the free letter service. But as long as you did all four of these steps, you're definitely eligible for it. And then I have a lot of different blog posts on here about the different credit 101, home buying 101 is going to come next. Um, so definitely check out the website, Rakita.com. I will be editing the website soon, but this is what it looks like now. If you guys are interested in any credit card, you guys can definitely use this search bar here. And then also, if you're on your computer, then you can search. Actually, if you're a member already, you can search right here. I got special things for people that's a part of my actual membership. So if they want me to send certified letters, pay past due bills, schedule a call um, for free credit help, sign up again. Here are the steps that you need to actually do. So, yeah, that's what you will do if you guys are a member or say if you want a specific credit card you want to look up, just search whatever that credit card is. And you can see if I made some type of review on it. So here's the Apple card here. I'm going to click on it. Scroll down. You see, I got the video, the card here, apply now, free downloadable guide. And then also have some people that actually got approved for the credit card. I have some other reviews here. But I hope that you guys love this website and you're able to find more credit cards to get approved for. You start working to build your credit and you get exactly what you want out of your credit. And last thing I want to say about my wonderful website is if you like a certain credit card, at the bottom, I'll have similar cards. These are the cards to me that the, that's similar to the Apple card. So you can see I have similar ones down here. So you can go ahead and actually click on it and go to that next credit card. So this is the cashback card. And you can see other people say that they got approved for it. So I hope that you guys love this website. You can go into a rabbit hole looking at all the different things that's on this website. But I hope that you guys love it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great day.